we are going to come over here to plugins we're going to add a new plugin a plugin is an extension that helps you to further advance or even add more functionality to your theme and uh, there are a couple of plugins in the wordpress repository free and paid plugins in this case we are going to add a new plugin from astra called starter templates and this plugin helps you to get a number of pre-made websites that have been already made by astra and you can simply start by customizing now what i'm going to do after searching over here they show up here called starter templates and at the moment it has over 300,000 active installations what we have to do is simply install so after installation and your plugin is activated then when we come over here to install plugins you realize that we only have one plugin and that is the starter templates remember our website looks like this at the moment now the starter template is going to help us to get a pretty nice looking already made wordpress website that we can use to customize it to suit the website that we want for our agency or even company so we come back here to plugins and then we are going to go to c library and when we come over here to c library we have to choose a page builder a page builder is a tool or a plugin or an extension that helps you to easily customize a number of sections of your websites from headers footers and page sections templates and all that stuff i recommend to use elementor because it is one of the leading wordpress uh, page builders but not only that it gives you a couple of flexibilities to make changes to your wordpress website without a hassle and it has a very short learning curve as you'll see in this tutorial now once you are here we're going to come right up here we'll select a free template and then we'll select one that is belonging to the business category and all those templates that we're going to be seeing here they will be compatible with the elementor page builder so right here elementor must be selected and now we are going to come and scroll down here and look for a template that we want to use of course there are so many other templates just like these over here you can choose from any but i prefer us to use uh, a business template and we want one that is actually free so i'm going to scroll down here and then i'm going to select this template called interior design farm or you can even choose any of the other templates right in here so i come back here select this template and you see it's going to bring us page templates for the home portfolio about testimonials and even a contact page and right up here once you are satisfied with how this looks like you can simply come down here and say import complete website now you have two options you can either import a single page which is a home page or a portfolio page but for us we want to import a complete website once you click on import complete website it will start running the importer right here and it will ask you delete previously imported site uh, import customizer settings import widgets at the moment we want to enable all these and since we haven't yet imported any website before we will simply leave this unchecked so we say import and now this is going to import a complete website for us an already made website that has almost all the sections completely and well designed responsive and having high quality content now we will be in position to customize every other section of this website so congratulations once your website has successfully been imported you'll get this notification message now we can view our website and boom this is what we have at the moment looks really beautiful has a logo with an amazing header navigation menu over here a background image actually this is the transparent header and we have all this over here a hero section a small gallery over here a services section some testimonials client logos and the footer section now it can also take you to other pages this is the portfolio page looks really nice see how that looks like this too and i'm going to show you exactly how you can create such sections in this website how you can assign pages to some sections 
how you can create these uh, pages and add them to the menu. See all that. When you come to the contact page, I'm also going to show you exactly how you can add a contact page, how you can add also a contact form like this where someone can simply come and send you a message with all this contact information and also a map. This looks awesome. Now, that is how far we have gone. Now, when we come back here to our dashboard, we are going to simply close this. And by the look of things, first of all, I'm going to take you to this section called pages. And this is what we have. We have the about page, contact home, portfolio, privacy page, sample page, and testimonial page. Now, these are pages that have been imported when we imported our website apart from the sample page and the privacy page. These are installed by default when you install WordPress. So these are others have been imported with our new website. Now, when we come over here to appearance under menus, this is where you'll see the menu that is appearing on your WordPress website. At the moment, we have one that is called a primary menu. And this is how it looks like home, portfolio, about, testimonials and contact just the same as it is over here home portfolio about testimonials contact we can even switch some of these menu items or something like that so we have simply shifted the about page from down to next to the home when i update i come here to our page i reload you realize the about page will come over here and boom that's how it is.